Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing the Cover Effects Translucent Powder in Matte versus the Deep Laura Mercier, um, it's brand new, Laura Mercier Powder in Medium Deep. Let me do this again. I'm going to be reviewing the Translucent Medium Deep Laura Mercier Powder. Now, I've already got it on. On this side is the Laura Mercier, and this side is the Cover Effects. They both come in matte, so if you guys want to know the details and specs of these two products, you know what you got to do. You got to subscribe, and you got to keep on watching. Okay, so right off the bat, this is the packaging, and this is the cover effects, and this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, Medium Deep, and this one is um, Medium. Hope you can see that. Try and get the glare off there. So this is in Medium. Cover effects does not make one in Deep. They only go from Translucent to Medium. And Laura Mercier makes um now medium deep so this is what you're gonna get they both came from sephora and i'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys there goes the laura mercier one and here is the if i can open it <laughs> there we go Here's the cover effects one. So now you can see the difference in sizes. This one has a little bit more product in it. So I'm letting you guys see it side by side. This one's slightly smaller. This one's a little bit bigger. So now when you open them up, this is what cover effects looks like. So far as their translucent powder right there. And this is what the Laura Mercier one looks like and I have to take out this tab oh that's handy okay so cover effects has this lid that opens this way and then you can shut it so therefore you won't lose any powder when you open it which is actually pretty handy so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up again and right off the bat boy I'm just being messy right off the bat you can see the difference in colors so this one is a little bit lighter this one is darker so let's go ahead and um, swap to my face and let's put it on so I know I look absolutely crazy but I got my foundation on eyebrows are done now let's go ahead and I'm taking this Kat Von D concealer and I need a mirror and I'm going to go ahead and conceal underneath my eyes. Okay, so <coughs> this side we're going to do the Cover Effects one, and this side we're going to do the Laura Mercier. Okay, so now that I've got that done, I'm going to, obviously, you can see the big difference right here. So this one kind of matches your skin tone, depending on what kind of skin tone you are. Um, you can most definitely use this just all over the face. But if you want to highlight, I would suggest going with the um, cover effects. I don't know. You guys be the judge. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, wipe this off, well, dust it off, and then you guys let me know what you think. Okay, so this is cover effects, and this is the deep Laura Mercier powder in guest. <laughs> 
Her name is Diamond, and she's my heart. Anyway, um, you guys let me know which side you like the best. My honest opinion... I mean, I like the highlight from the cover effects. And um, I did set my face with a, a setting spray. I use... I can't find it, but I use, I think, the NYX um, Dewy Finish. And I guess it, the Laura Mercier can personally just be something that you want to set your face all over with other than doing like a highlight with the cover effect so I thought I would compare the two because I know maybe some of you guys was curious I know I was curious so I decided to do one side with the, with the cover effects and the other side with the Laura Mercier and I just I don't know you guys let me know I have no clue on what to think I mean I think they're both equally good um, I like the highlighted effect with the cover effects other than just something that I just don't can't really see the highlight with but you can't set your face with it so anyway don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share share out this video and until next time see you later bye